What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams. And in today's video, you're gonna learn how to change the structure of links into your WordPress website. So, as you can see here, the URL of our blog post is this page ID and a number. And if you select a post, you can find another number and the page ID. This is how the default WordPress installation came, and one of the first things that you need to change is it on your settings into WordPress dashboard permalinks. This ID and number does tell anything to search engines like Google, for example. So, as a matter of SEO and site organization, you need to change this. This is the common sec settings. By default, come as a plane. You can change, for example, to day and name. Now, in this case, if, it has, if it's a page, this is gonna show in the permalink the page title, and if it's a post or a custom post type, you're gonna show the date of publication and the title. It's common across some blogs, but not our recommendation. because it just make the URL bigger with no reason for. The most recommended and used across the web is the post name style. This one that just shows your domain and the post or page titles. As you can see now, if you change the permalink structure, the link structure and try to reload the old URL, Without a redirection, you're gonna be loading a page not found error 404. So you need to go back to their blog and find the new URL. It works in the same way for custom post types. One normal example is when you are running a shop into your website and you are loading the WooCommerce plugin and you would like to have your e-commerce site with some custom link structures. So, let me just activate the WooCommerce plugin to share it with you. As soon as you have the WooCommerce plugin activated, go back to settings, permalinks, and you can find an entire new fields so you can customize the WooCommerce project slugs, for example. So, instead of project, you can call anything you want. Same for categories and tags page. In addition, in the case that you are using our Visual Moodle WordPress Teams, you have options. You have options to create custom post types, like this one that we call projects. And the slug is portfolio. This is a custom post type example, and as you can see, is your site title, your domain, plus the post time name, in this case it's portfolio, and the portfolio post name. You can change it into your visual model, theme options, post types, singular name, plural name, and custom slug. In the custom slug, you're gonna, we're gonna change this from portfolio to projects, for example, but you can change it for anything, like gallery, photography, save changes, and besides saving the changes, you need to go back to settings, permalink, and just hit the save changes button. This is gonna do the work. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. Just a note, in the case that you already have some posts made in the old post type, the new one gonna be clean, so you're gonna need to create new posts to this new post type. So. This is the reason why we recommend that you do this change in permalinks structures at first. 